Hi everyone, welcome to Vocal Academy. See in this problem, here are how to find complex power, average power, and direct power from the given data. That is voltage signal is given and current signal is given. That is voltage is 112 cos of omega t with phase 10 degrees volts and current was 4 into cos of omega t minus 50 degrees phase. So these are the voltage and current was given here. Now from this, how can you find complex power, average power, and direct power? This is a problem. First of all, convert this voltage and current into phasor forms. So that is, the voltage can be written in phasor form as voltage equal to this voltage signal amplitude is 112 and phase angle is 10 degrees. So this is the phasor form for voltage signal and current I equal to amplitude is 4 and phase angle is minus 50. So this is the corresponding phasor forms for voltage and current. Now first of all find the complex power. So complex power as equal to from voltage and current. These are not RMS voltage, not RMS current. These are just voltage signal and current signal which was given to the circuit. So from that the complex power formula is half of voltage into current conjugate. So half of voltage is this is that is 112 with phase angle 10 degrees and current conjugate with nothing but change the phase angle with minus half that is 4 into minus half minus 50 that is 50 degrees. Now how to simplify here? If these two phasor forms are going to multiply. So whenever the multiplication is applied between two phasor forms, it becomes so keep 1 by 2 as it is half of product of their amplitudes that is 112 into 4 and sum of phase angles that is 10 plus 50. Here two ones to do cancel and becomes 224 with phase angle 60 degrees. Now convert this phasor form. So this is a complex power in terms of phasor form. So convert this into complex form. So that is by using calculator we will get as 112 plus J 194. So this is the complex power in phasor form and this is complex power in complex number form. So units are volt amperes. So these are the units for complex power. Now how can you find average power and react power? So this can be easily find from the complex power. So the real part, the real part is called as average power. And imaginary part is called as react to power. What, now, what are the units? So for average power the units are watts and for reactor power the units are var. So this is the process of calculating complex power, average power and reactor power. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, thanks.